Gadget, Paragon's most annoying hero, is a machine-loving chick who used to be underplayed and underappreciated, but recently got a huge buff, making her so, so much more viable. Even though I was good with before, she is just stupid good now. Some would even say OP at some point, as she is just so viable now, so, so viable. Let's take a look at her and what exactly makes her so damn good. This build, tick, tick, boom, is going to get you guys through the problems that Gadget faces, which is the mana usage and swishiness. That's about it. I mean, she's, she's stupid strong, guys. She's stupid strong right now. Anyway, underplayed, but stupid strong. Anyway, to start off a Gadget, you're going to want to go with two cast tokens and a mana pot. You don't have two cast tokens, you don't have one cast token, just do a health pot, mana pot, and a harvest key or a ward, whatever, uh, just to get you through that. After that, we're going to usually go with a Magus ward, uh, basic mana, minor cast, minor cast. Give you some mana, give you damage, what else do you need? After that, though, we move on to an item that is more unique and not everyone has. I know some people do, some people don't. Uh, mind Flow. Mind Flow, I throw in all manas. Yes, 150 mana each. All mana. Really fucking nice. Uh, to feed Mind Flow's passive really quick, because this is why you would build this on her. While over 50% mana, you gain 12.5% cooldown reduction. Yes, that's a lot of cooldown reduction that you're getting just for being over a certain amount of mana. Really fucking nice. Gonna just, honestly, she needs that cooldown reduction to spam her abilities and be an annoyance, which she's just the most annoying little. Oh man, I I I don't know what to say. Okay, you guys. <laughs> anyway, fun to play, but just really fucking annoying to deal with. Uh, moving on from that, after Magus Ward, you're usually gonna want to go for your health item. Other my Jamulet, greater health, greater health, greater health really fucking nice. It's gonna give you a nice big health pool, and you'll be less squishy in the long term of things. After that, you're usually gonna want to go for your penetration. Lantern in the Spring, shock, shock, shock. Giving you plenty of pen for the early game, and if they decide to build more pen than that, Lantern in the Spring number two has a focus shock, and a focus shock, and a guard. Yes, two focus shock, and a guard. The guard is just to give you a little bit more armor. Uh, you could go maybe cool armor reduction here if you want. I personally just do armor. It's not a. It's, it's, it's so minimal, but it's, it does help in the long term. Uh, moving on after that, you have a couple options here, depending on if you want core option or you want some mana regen, depending on how much mana you're really, really using. Solus Reactor with three casts. I'm oh, sorry, but like two casts and a major cast. And the other one below is three casts. So those are your options for your damage. And Chronomancer Disc, major cast, major cast, cast. And that'll give you 5% more pull out. So total out pull in our we got 12.5 here, just from being over mana. Then you have 2.5, 2.5, and then 5. So it works at a really high pull interruption without even having to build, say, uh, what's the fuck that I am called? Pendulum of Lords. You wouldn't have to build Pendulum of Lords on her because of these items here, that, and the Mind Flow. Making it really... Mind Flow is just a really good item, guys. Yeah, really good item. Anytime you can build that on a mage, that uses really a lot of mana to it. It's so good. Uh, moving on, though. The items that you guys might need to use because you don't have stuff. Like Lantern and Spring you might not have. And mindful, you might not have Ghost Reactor, you might not have. So what do you, what do you do instead if you really need options? Energy penetration, Crystal Conduit is a very good one. Magna Lens is a really good one. Uh, and if you don't have either of those, go for the Hand of the Prophets late game to finish off your build and get 128 energy pen. Again, really expensive item up front, but very very effective with 300 more health. It's really it's worth it if you don't have these things. Uh, so moving on to the Solus Reactor items, uh, to replace those, if you really do not have them, uh, Staff of Adamant is a good option, that'll give you health, so that's a pretty solid option. Uh, Wellspring Staff will give you mana, which is probably more viable on her for sure. Uh, Amp Crystal, if you have those, are pretty good. Whirly Wand, if you want to be an annoying attack, 
bitch, per se. Throw on a whirling wand. Uh, Celestial Diamond. Energy damage, health regen. Mana. Solid item. Elysian Diamond. Energy damage, mana regen, health. And of course, you have another Chrono Master disc. Like, I have two of them here. Mana, energy damage, but some more Can't complain, can't complain, man. Can't complain. So, let's move on to her skin. Alright guys, so when it comes to skins for Gadget, she's lacking. She's lacking a lot. Right now, Paragon's been focusing on Gideon, Chimera, Grux, Rampage, uh, Murdoch. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's, that's pretty much it. That, that's their skin focus. Um, there's some characters I've gotten a couple more than others. Uh, but those are the main big ones that got a bunch of skins already. Uh, so let's move on to her skins and what's what is coming that I saw online that you guys should go check out to see for yourself the new skins coming that I am excited for. I'm not sure when they're going to be released, but there are pictures already and I am fucking excited. Anyway, moving on. So, normal gadget, you know, nothing new. Pretty, pretty black. Pretty meh. Uh, it does look good though. It's not a bad skin by any means. Uh, Challenger Gadget, a little more shiny, uh, you know, red, red and silver, looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Uh, Master Gadget, this is where she really starts looking a lot better. Uh, shiny, you can definitely tell it's a Master Skin with the uh, effect in the back there. Definitely looks really good, really cool. Uh, probably one of the skins I would use if I was to actually master her. So moving on to her off skin, more or less. Uh, it's an army camo color skin with a heart on her hip there, uh, not, nothing, nothing quite cool. Uh, she, she's really lacking skins, but what I saw, she does have some really cool comments, skins coming, she's got like masks on, she's got, uh, just more of a mech look to her, I guess, is the best way to put it, like a mechanical look to her, uh, than she currently has now, doesn't, so basically her face gets covered, max arm, uh, also another one I saw that probably another recolor of this looks better. Uh, so there's some skins coming for her. I'm hoping that she gets a tier three or something soon, as she needs it. She, she's so lacking. She's so underplayed. Once she is played, man, she is a force to be reckoned with because of how annoying she is. But she is also just stupid strong. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see recommend some games to me and as always i will see you guys next time on paragon peace